chapter nine, the Lord of the Flies continues to speak to Simon, threatening him using frightening voices from his past and warning him that the other boys will do him. Simon faints, and when he wakes up, he climbs the mountain and realizes that the beast is actually that dead parachute. He knows he needs to let the others know what's going on. Meanwhile, clouds are gathering on the island and the storm is coming. Piggy and Ralph debate about going to the feast. Piggy wants meat, but he also wants to make sure nothing bad happens. Piggy and Ralph decide to go to the feast. When they do, they make a bit of an awkward entrance, but are welcomed. The other boys are eating and laughing. Jack's face is painted like a chief sitting on a log. Jack orders that Piggy and Ralph be given meat. And after everyone finishes, he asks who's going to join his tribe, reminding them that he can get them food and protection. Ralph again protests that he's the chief and reminds them about the fire. They argue about the relevance of the conch, and we see that the rules are once again being stretched and challenged. When Jack asks again who will join, a storm begins. A dance starts, wild, out of control, a chant of kill the beast. Everyone is whipped into a frenzy. Suddenly, Simon crawls out of the forest, exhausted, delirious, trying to tell the other boys about the parachutist. But they don't hear him, maybe they don't recognize him, but they beat on him and kill him with their bare hands and teeth, biting and striking. The storm blows the dead parachutist's body onto the beach, and the boys run from it. Simon's body is washed out to sea. Now in this chapter, the storm coming in and the weather intensifying is used to heighten the mood of the horror and tragedy that's about to befall the boys. We see Simon, innocent, carrying information, enlightened, just trying to let the others know what's going on. But at this point, the scales have tipped more towards savagery than civilization, more towards fear than order, and they beat him to death, fulfilling a prophecy that the Lord of the Flies initially laid out, that the boys were gonna have fun and Simon was getting in their way. The rain washing away the parachutist and Simon reminds readers of the destructive force of human savagery. It's also important to note here that the fire and the feast that Jack presents is being used to meet the base needs of all the children. We're not thinking about the future anymore, only of the immediate present. And this wild behavior stems directly from that. There's been a dramatic change now. We've gone over an edge, we've crossed a line, and the conch, the rules, and Ralph's leadership are no longer relevant. Thank you.